I am Matt Walden. I am an 18-year-old senior songwriter from Bradenton, Florida. And I have an EP coming out soon. Tell us about the EP. When's it coming out and what can we expect? Oh, my gosh. I wish I had a date. Um, (laughs) It should be done within this month to the next month. And it's going to be a full band, not just acoustic. So it's pretty exciting. You have a band? Well, I don't have a band, but we have a lot of professionals to come play the other parts. Okay, okay. So uh, we're going to skip around a little bit then. What instruments do you play? What instruments do I play? Um, originally, I started off taking 10 years of piano lessons. And then from there, I started playing guitar. And in school, I think they made me play clarinet and viola and stuff like that. But basically, I just do... Guitar, piano, drums, and my church made me learn bass, so that's one. Nice, nice. Describe your music. Describe my music. Um, in a nutshell, I'm going to try to repeat what I said yesterday. I think I said it's a combination of Dave Matthews, John Mayer, and Jack Johnson, if they all had a child together. Yeah, that sounds about right. I remember that. That would be really weird, but I mean... All right. How did you get started? How did I get started? Um, I'm not going to lie. First, I became, became... I started because of like, the girls and everything, like we were saying last time. <laughs> but and I realized I really, really had like a, a feel for music, and I just wanted to... For the rest of it. There was just a guy who came up to me, gave me a guitar, and said, My mom made me take 10 years of piano lessons. And that kind of made me hate music. I'm not going to lie. I didn't want to play ever because I'd have to go play lessons. And because of that, I wanted to change instruments. So I played guitar. And guitar actually made me want to start writing music. So I was listening to a lot more bands that were very interesting and influential to me. And I wanted to write songs like them and go on tour like them. And so after I had all the help with the studio and stuff, I'm hoping that the EP will help me take off my career. Right. Um, Billy Rice, he gave me the guitar and told me the whole girl spiel. (laughs) It's the girl, the singer, the guitar player. So, yeah, fell over heels there. So, uh... I have to ask, did it work? I'm not going to lie to you, it did work for a while. Actually, I think it still works. But I was going to say, um, your Twitter seems to be blowing up. Yeah, it actually is. <laughs> With all the girls messaging me going, oh my God, where's the interview? I can't wait. Uh, sometimes. I mean, I, kinda, I'm, I'm trying to, I try to be really nice to them because, after all, they are really nice to me, and I just can't seem to be mean to anyone. So, Good. I love how they support my music. It's awesome. Good. Keep, like, stay that way, even if, like, you should become big. Definitely. Okay. Who are your musical influences? Musical influences. Um, to start off, it was probably the band The Main. They were, like, the first. Someone introduced me to them, and I started listening to them a lot, and started learning their songs, and I was like, hey, I want to write songs like this, like pop alternatives. Tried yeah. to the whole band thing, didn't work, and it turns out my music started list- turning out like like Dave Matthews, and it's funny because I never really listened to him. Everyone's like, you sound like Dave Matthews. I'm like, who's that? Oh, he has that one song. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. But after that, I started going more Jack Johnson because... I just love the islandy feel, and yeah, it's probably one of my biggest influences right now. First song that you learned? My first song called Just Another Story, and uh, it kind of relates. Really, it's just about a girl. It's like standing. It's like watching the girl you love or the person you like from like not like a distance, not like a stalking standpoint, but I mean like seeing how she's sad and everything, how you want to cheer up, but she doesn't really know you as well. Or know you as well as you wanted to know you, I guess. When I went to the studio for the first time, I played it for a guy, and he's like, I really like this. We should make 
EP or something. I'm like, hey, that sounds good. And two years later, I'm still working on the EP. Okay, cool, cool. What was your first performance like? And I, again, maybe skip over the piano one then and go for, like, the guitar. Um, my first performance on piano was probably for, like, I think they call it, like, student day, where we just play recitals where we perform in a bunch of... I don't want to be, it's not really mean, but the majority of people who listen to piano tend to be, like, the classical piano, that's their key. They are more older people, and we would just play for them, and they'd be, like, really critiquing on us, so I guess we play for them would be really scared. So it was kind of like, you messed up, you get everything wrong. <laughs> All right, what about, like, um, a concert? Have you ever played any... Any shows with your yeah, own music? Actually, I won a contest, I think, I think it's been two years now, where I got to play at the Florida State Strawberry Festival with a girl named Sweet Caroline. And she signed with Sony. Um, that was pretty nerve-wracking, because we had to practice for a good you know, six weeks before we went out there on the stage and played. And I mean, it was all family and friends were out there and a couple of strangers, but I mean... So pretty crazy playing at the Florida State Strawberry Festival. I, I don't know. I just right I was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> so that did that make you want to do it more? Yeah, because like yeah, I don't know, just the feeling of being up there, just taking control. Um, what is your best moment so far? Probably just all the support I'm getting through my music. This is probably the best moment overall. Like, it's not really a specific time, because I've played a few shows every now and then, but it's just all the support I'm getting from my family and my manager, Jason Poe, and going to the studio and just everything in general has just been one big moment to me, and it's just, I love it. I want to do it for the rest of my life. Okay, that works. Why do you want to be a performer? I love music, and I love writing music. And, I don't know, I just kind of want people to hear my music. Like, sometimes I feel like my songs can relate to what they're going through. And I like helping people, so I, I think maybe in a, in a way my songs can help people. I like that answer. What can fans expect from you this year? Probably a lot more covers, and maybe when the EP's out, a music video. Sweet, that, like that would definitely be it. What um, any plans for like certain covers or well, they kind of certain have, bands? Kind of <laughs> bunch that are coming out. All right, all right. I really, I really want to do a cover of a song by the band Parachute. Though they're one of my favorite bands, and I love all of their songs. Who do you want to tour with? Probably Ed Sheeran. That would be the coolest. I hear he's really chill, and he's acoustic, and I'm acoustic, and I think his acoustic tour channel will be pretty awesome. Plus, it's Ed Sheeran. I mean, who would want to play with him or be anywhere near him? Yeah. <laughs> right on. Right on. What are your goals for your career? Personally, I would... <clears throat> right now... I kind of just want to go on tour and I can get my music out there. <laughs> Fair enough. I know I saw that you had released an original song on your YouTube. It's too short. Well, that's kind of a, a personal story for a song about this girl I liked a while ago. And I'm not going to mention any names or anything. No, you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I feel like back in 2008 was when we really clicked and then as everyone changes through high school, I feel like she changed a lot, and I just, uh, my emotions into a song. Okay. And I also saw, like, your fans have a campaign to get you to go to a festival called Teen Hoot. Yes, actually, Teen Hoot, that is a festival in Nashville where I signed up for the contest. I didn't win, but it's an amazing experience. So that would be a goal? then, too. Yes, big goal. So where, to play there. where can um, fans go to uh, 
vote for you to play there? Well, actually, the voting is over, but they can send an email to, I think it's like music at teenhoops.com. I, I don't know. You have to go to their website. Okay. Just trying to get a plug in there for you. Yeah, I got you. Cool. Where can people get in touch with you? Twitter and Facebook are always the perfect way to go. Nice. Right now, this this moment in time, I currently see everything on Twitter. All right. All right. And then a message to your fans that are listening. Uh, I love them all.